Hello viewers, welcome to this video. Right, in this video, I'm gonna be revisiting Nginx Ingress Controller. So I've done these two videos about a year ago. So this one was done a year ago and this one was done seven months ago. So few people have been asking me various questions like, do we need to deploy uh, resources in the same namespace as we deploy the Nginx Ingress Controller and so on. So uh, we will be looking at all those. We'll be discussing that in this video. And in my GitHub repository, there's also one guy who raised this request here, raised an issue saying Nginx Ingress Controller is not working with a uh, different namespace so basically what he is doing is uh, he is trying to create a, a namespace and he has deployed nginx ingress controller in that namespace followed by all the deployments and the ingress resource everything in this example namespace and it's uh, not working for him for some reason okay so I've got my notes here what I'm gonna be doing in this video so we will be going through a variety of scenarios so the first one is we will be deploying the ingress controller the nginx ingress controller various deployments to play with, expose them as services. And then uh, we'll also create the ingress resource, which are just the routing rules. So everything will be deployed in the default namespace, which is basically uh, this video here. So we'll just quickly go through that, the default setup to make sure that it's working. And then we will try and deploy all these on a different namespace example. So this is what that guy was exactly having problem about. So I'm gonna give it a try and deploy all these resources in a non-default namespace. So, and in doing this, we will also cover a couple more scenarios where you deploy ingress controller on one uh, namespace and you deploy your other deployments workloads on a different namespace and see if you can uh, make use of the ingress controller. So this is exactly the question that many viewers asked me, uh, if we can deploy it, if we need to deploy the deployments in the same namespace as the ingress controller. So that's again, we're gonna check. And the final scenario is uh, the deployment will be in one namespace and then the ingress resource, the routing rules will be deployed in a different namespace, okay? So we'll be covering all these scenarios very quickly. So I've got my Kubernetes cluster running. KubeCDL, get nodes, one master, two worker nodes, and this is based on my Vagrant environment. I'm running version 1.18.5. I've also got Helm installed, so Helm version 3.2.4. And one other thing to notice, I've got Metal LB running because I will be needing Metal LB for uh, load balancing and so on. So I've checked out my Kubernetes repository here. So if I go to Kubernetes, YAMLs, and then Ingress demo. So this is where I've got all my um, uh, deployments and the ingress resources, which we will be using in this video again. Okay, so before that, I'm first going to, I don't have any Helm shots installed. I'm going to deploy the Nginx ingress. So our first scenario is this one, deploy everything in the default namespace. So first thing is we are going to deploy the ingress controller. All right, let's install Nginx ingress controller. Helm install Nginx ingress, stable Nginx ingress. All right, so that's done. And if I do Helm list, so we've got uh, Nginx Ingress deployed. And if I do kubectl get all. Okay, so that's running Nginx Ingress controller exposed as load balancer. So that's my load balancer IP that's coming from the metal, metal LB. And let's wait for this Nginx Ingress controller pod to be in the fully ready state. kubectl get all. Okay, so our Nginx controller is deployed. So now let's go ahead and deploy all of our resources. So in here, I've got three deployments, Nginx deploy main, Nginx deploy blue, Nginx deploy green. So if you want more details about this, uh, please go through this video here. So in this video, I'm gonna quickly go through all of them. So for example, if I just show you one of them, it's just a simple Nginx deployment, nothing fancy. So, and if I show you the other one, Nginx deploy blue, uh, basically I'm, uh, using a volume and I'm just changing. I'm adding a HTML file, index.html file, and just to show you the difference between uh, these three deployments. All right, so let's deploy them. kubectl create minus f, nginx deploy main, and I'm deploying all these three deployments. Okay, kubectl get all. All right, so three parts are getting created. Let's wait for it. kubectl get all. All right, so everything is running. We've got three Nginx pods. We have uh, the three deployments, Nginx deploy main, blue and green. And now let's expose them. kubectl expose deploy Nginx 
deploy main minus minus port 80 that's done and the second deployment nginx deploy blue nginx deploy green okay kubectl get service cool so we have these three services which are all uh, of type cluster ip all right so what's the missing piece now so we've deployed the ingress controller we've deployed our three deployments and we've created uh, the service for each of them now we need to deploy the ingress resource so i'm going to be using ingress resource 3.yaml so if i show you that so basically if i browse to nginx.example.com the default is going to be the nginx deploy main and if i go to slash blue it will take me to this service and slash green will take me to this service nginx deploy green let's deploy that kubectl create minus f ingress 3.yaml kubectl describe ingress ingress 3 Cool, so we have one host and three path, each uh, forwarding traffic to the respective services. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is kubectl get service. Nginx ingress controller is uh, a load balancer service, so I need to add this entry to my etc host file. So let's copy that, sudo vi etc host, add that and say nginx.example.com. And now if I go to my browser, and open nginx.example.com there we go that's our nginx welcome page and if i go to slash blue i am blue and if i go to slash green i am green okay cool so our nginx ingress controller uh and the nginx ingress is all working fine so basically we uh, tested this setup which is all working good so now we're going to move to uh, this setup where we're going to deploy everything in a new namespace all right so let's tear everything down kubectl delete service i'm going to delete all the services kubectl delete deploy uh, delete deploy nginx deploy main nginx deploy blue nginx deploy green that's done kubectl delete minus f and we also delete the nginx ingress resource that we created okay kubectl get all okay all we've got now running is just the ingress controller i'm also going to delete the ingress controller because we're going to test this in a different namespace okay so helm list helm uninstall nginx ingress Helm list that's gone. Let's wait for the pod to get terminated. Kubectl get all. Okay, so Nginx is getting terminated. Kubectl get all. Okay, so that's completely gone. All right, so uh, we're now going to do this scenario here. We're going to deploy everything in the example namespace. So let's create that namespace. So this is exactly the uh, the problem that this guy was having here nginx ingress controller not working with the namespace so let's see if this works in our environment kubectl create namespace example i'm going to install the um, ingress controller in the example namespace helm install and just pass minus n example and then we should be able to see helm list it doesn't show anything because it's in the example namespace okay so we've got that kubectl minus n example get all right let's wait for the ingress controller pod to be running and we also have the nginx ingress controller load balancer service kubectl minus n example get all okay cool so we've got our nginx ingress controller running in the example namespace now let's go ahead and create all the resources like what we did earlier kubectl create minus f and all those three deployment manifest but in the example namespace all right so if i do a kubectl minus n example get all and these three pods are getting created all right so while it's getting created let's also expose the service kubectl expose the deployment sorry kubectl expose deploy main but this time it's going to be in the example namespace and again for the other two deployments blue and green 
All right. So kubectl minus n example get service. So we have these three service for each of the deployments. That's cool. kubectl minus n get ports. Okay, so all of our Nginx ports are running along with the ingress controllers. So now what's reminding is to deploy the ingress resource. kubectl create minus f ingress resource minus n example. Okay, so we've now deployed the ingress controller, all the deployments, exposed all of the deployments and created the ingress resource, but everything in the same namespace, which is example namespace, all right? So I already have my ETC host updated with nginx.example.com pointing to the load balancer IP address, kubectl minus n example get service. So that's pointing to the external IP, which is the metal LB load balancer IP. And now again, if I go to the browser and go to nginx.example.com, I can see the welcome page. And if I browse to blue, I can do it. And to green, I'm green. So, well, for me in my test environment, in my environment, you can see that it's actually working. So uh, later I might be able to update this uh, issue with a comment and I'm gonna close this one. So I think it's something to do with his setup. So to me, deploying everything in the example namespace worked perfectly fine. Okay, so I'm gonna tear everything down again and we're gonna go with this third scenario. Okay, so the easiest way is to delete the example namespace, right? So you don't have to individually delete each of the resources that you've deployed. So if you just delete the example namespace, it's gonna delete everything inside that namespace. All right, so that's all gone. And if I do Helm list, we don't have anything. So again, let's do a Helm installation. This time ingress controller will be in the default namespace. Let's do that. Helm install Nginx ingress in the default namespace. And then we will be deploying, okay, so error. Unable to continue the install cluster role Nginx ingress. Okay, so that's there. Let's delete that. kubectl delete cluster role nginx ingress probably we also need to delete the cluster role binding cluster role binding nginx ingress and let's do the install command again helm install nginx ingress okay so that's done helm list okay kubectl get all i'm in the default namespace and the ingress controller is getting created kubectl it all and then we will also deploy uh, the deployment service and ingress resources will will be in the example namespace will be in a different namespace so for for those of you who have asked me whether it's possible to uh, create the resources in a different namespace to that of the ingress controller let's gonna let's try it and see if it's gonna work okay so our ingress controller is ready I'm gonna create uh, namespace kubectl create namespace example kubectl create minus f okay so I'm deploying all these in the example namespace I'm going to expose deploy in the example namespace green blue and finally main Okay, so I'm also going to create the ingress resource in the example namespace. kubectl minus n example get all. All right, so we've got all our pod running, expose them as the cluster IP service, deployments all running okay. kubectl describe ingress resource minus n example. Okay, so we've got our ingress resource. All right, cool. So this is our setup ingress controller in one, res one namespace and all the others in a different namespace. Let's see if we can access it. So if I go to the browser, nginx.example.com, still I can access it. Let's go to blue, yes. Let's go to green, green slash green. Yep, so we, are, we can still access it. All right, cool. So let's cover the final scenario, the fourth scenario, okay? So for that, uh, I'm going to leave the ingress controller because it's running in the default namespace. I'm also going to leave the deployment and the service uh, created in the example namespace. I'm just going to delete the ingress resource and create that in the default namespace. Okay. kubectl delete minus f 
ingressresource.yaml but it's in the example namespace at the moment so that's deleted and now we're going to create that in the default namespace okay kubectl describe ingress nginx ingress okay so we've got that it's in the default namespace now let's try and access our nginx.example.com okay so nginx.example.com we can still access it but that's not the case if i refresh it that's showing from the cache yeah if i refresh it you see service temporarily unavailable so the routing is not actually working let's also try the other two url slash blue again the same slash green again the same so okay so we've come to the end of the video so what uh, we've what we're going to conclude is the ingress resource has to reside in the same namespace as that of your deployment all right but it doesn't matter where you deploy your ingress controller ingress controller can be deployed in any namespace and you can deploy your workloads deployments in any namespace but the only thing to remember is you need to deploy the ingress resource in the same namespace as that of your deployment all right okay cool i think that's all i wanted to cover in this video hopefully you found this video useful give this a try and let me know if you've got any questions i'll be happy to help and make sure to subscribe to my channel there are more videos coming and i will see you all in my next video Bye bye